Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to talk about the interview answers that I have discussed or the interview questions that I have discussed in the previous shots. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let's move to the first question. First question was that can we call an auto launch flow in a record trigger flow? So let's move to our Salesforce org and quickly create a flow. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and create a flow itself named as auto of auto launch type. So I think so our auto launch flow is ready. I'm going to save it and name it as auto launch interview INB. And let's save it and also activate it. Now let's create a record trigger flow. First refresh it. And let's create a record trigger flow. <clears throat> and let's see can we whether can we actually go ahead and call the auto launch flow. So I'm going to pull the sub flow. Let's okay. So we can we can call the auto launch flow from the uh, record trigger flow in uh, Salesforce so this is the answer for the, for the first interview question let's move to the next interview question is it possible to delete the records inside the record trigger flow so we are already inside the record trigger flow so as we can see we can delete the records inside the record trigger flow but wait there is a cache inside it so if I'm going to select fast field updates okay I need to keep the account object if I'm going to give the fast field updates, I won't be able to delete the records. On the other hand, if I select action related records, I will be able to delete the records. So the answer to this question is I can, yes, I can delete the records or I either I cannot delete the records as well, but it depends upon the mode that you are running. If it's running in the fast field updates, you will be able, you won't be able to delete the records. On the other hand, if you are working in action and related records in the optimization form of the flow, in that cases you will be able to delete the record okay so this is the answer to this question next what is the difference between fast field updates and, and actions and related records so let's move again to this salesforce org so if i go to the record trigger flows there are two ways i can run this flow one is fast field updates and another is action and related records so fast field updates is let's say i am working on contact one object right I am doing some operation on contact one and if I want to update the same contact okay if I am updating the same contact contact one if I want to update certain field or certain value of that particular object and the record in that cases you can use the fast field updates so if you are working on a same object or the same and the same record if you want to work on the same object and the same record in that cases we use fast field updates it's very similar to that of the before events in trigger okay before event you use before events if you are going to work on the same object itself okay so that's the thing before if you want to work on the same object itself that's where you use fast field updates but on the other hand if you want to work on the related record so for an example if account is created contact should also get created so I want to work on the related objects so in that cases you use fast field uh, you use action and related records so it's it's very similar to that of the afters after events inside the trigger after are used whenever you want to work on the related records befores are used whenever you want to work on the same objects same record so this is the answer to all the interview questions that we have discussed in the previous shots 
If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.